Right everyone, it's Mike, she's Bushcraft, uh, me and Craig, old Bushcrafter, back out, haven't been out for, well I haven't been out since Edale but before Edale, so actually out in the woodland, it's been about, I would say, a good month, easily, easily a good month, um, but we're out, a bit of a, a bit of a wet one, but we're still out under the taps. Uh, I've got a bit of a change of tap set up. I've got the, I bought a four x four off Mr. Scotty, so I'm using the four x four today. Um, massive. I like to make Excel. I so will. I'll still use Excel lots. Um, but there's a lot of cover on these four x fours. You get a big porch. Once the wind dies down a little bit, I'll show you. Uh, we've got a stone cycle set up. If the wind, if the rain lets off a little bit, we'll probably have a bit of a bit of a fire. Um, but yeah, back out, new location. I think over the last two years, with the the amount of wild camping I've been doing over the last two years, this has been not the longest by any distance, but probably one of the hardest walkings I've done. It's straight out the car. Straight onto calf bend. It's <laughs> it makes the the bushcraft forest walk up a, a, a relatively nice walk up. This was this was far far. I mean, it has been a month since I've had a bergen on, so it could be an exaggeration because of the bergen fitness. But it was hard. It, it really was hard. Not too bad. Once we go up onto the onto the top, and then you're just walking across. On the, on the paths and that before you come back off the paths to go into the woodland but when you're walking up solidly it really was hard uh, I've got the the Mike Bright OS number one out with me and I've also got the TSB Grizzly out with me so whether or not I have a fire I'm going to give them to a little bit of a, a wear pole see, see, if, see if the TSB's up to what I always assumed it would be and Mike Bright, this is your moment, mate. So this is this is it. It's going to get its first outing, woodland camping with the OS number one. Catch you in a bit. Right, we get some scran on. Got some Nepalese curry and some pilo rice. So let's get it on the old trench here. Straight on. So, yeah, back away. Back into its cardiac sheath. The fire style. Let me have this off on the other one. There we go, look. My next set, one of my own. Still early days, but I like this one. Keeping this one, right? Let's whack that on. Getting a bit of eating alive, right? Got beer on the go over there. Bring it back in a bit. Right, so my scran's on, getting eaten alive. So I've put the shima gum. Having a beer. Well, on the side of this weekend, anyway. So, lovely wood, this. We'll have a just a real nice chill out night. No, no, so much going really. We just cross this in. This is where Craig used to come. How long ago, Craig? Four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. Exactly the same location, same camping site. 
so we're in Craig's old old haunts. So a few beers. Well, quite a few beers. Uh, I know everybody's not into the, the rat pack food, but the time and the place and pissing it down so the time and the place is underneath my tap where I can get my stove on and eat nicely underneath my tap without having to stand out in the in the weather around a fire getting pissing wet through. So good beer, good company. Nice knives. Catch me in a bit. So we've got Craig prepping a bit of fat wood. I've got some birch bark in my pocket, just drying out a little bit, warming up. Yeah, I'm gonna process a little bit of wood down. See what Craig's doing for that. I've got my fire tin with me. So if needs out else out the fire tin, we can stick a bit of stuff just to get it going. There's loads of little bits and pieces around. Look at this so we should be able to get going like so I'll bring you back when we're about to get it going right we got it birch bark out the tin fat wood out the tin that's all and everything else has been yeah it, don't get me wrong it's not been an easy fire has it mate We all make these tins and carry this fire kit for a reason. Because, don't get me wrong, there's birch bark to be had in here, but everything is absolutely saturated. So, it has been an hard, an hard fire to get going, but it's going. So, I think we're at that level now where we can pretty much get some damp wood on it and burn damp wood as well now. So, right, bring it back in a bit. Catch you soon. Tucked up now. Um, just gonna watch the watch the fire burn away from me from the hammer. Um, I've got me just me British Army jungle bag. Me British Army wool blanket and me softy jacket on. Um, no under blanket. First first camp of the, the season without. Without an under blanket on, but well, I think I'll be all right with the softer jacket on. It's only ever like bottom back and the hips that get cold, so I think I'll be sound with with what I've got. If my feet get a bit cold, I'll just push the wool blanket down to that down to the bottom. Uh, the only reason I'm bothered about my feet getting cold is just because the bottoms of my trousers are a little bit damp. So if my feet get cold, like I say, just push my wool blanket right down to the bottom of the the hammock oh plus I've got me softy trousers behind me I can push them down wrap them wrap my feet up in my softy trousers keep me amp, keep me wool blanket for up top but it's been a cracking night a few beers good fire the only thing with it being damp is there's nowhere to sit I had me my hammock chair with me but there was no near where we had the fire set up to get my hammock chair up so my feet are just a bit achy but it's been a cracking night really enjoyed it just nice to get out it's been like i say it's been a month since i've had a woodland camping so it's just nice to nice to get out and get a bit done right that'll be it for tonight so i'll catch you in the morning off good night morning morning right it's about 20 past 10. I've just got up. Craig's only been up about 20 minutes, half hour. Just quality sleep. Nice to be back in an hammer. Uh, loving the 4x4. Four four. Like, I've just speaking to Craig then, and I think it's. I don't know whether. I think Craig said that when we're having the, the four and a half before, I've never been stretching the hammock to try and get it under across two long trees. Maybe my straps weren't long enough, but this time around it just seems far better set up. 
I don't know if it's because I've set it up looser or what, but it just seems a much better. I've always been comfortable, but last night was was super, and I had no under blanket. So I'm gonna get up, get a brew on, have some brekkie, and chill out. Right, I'm gonna spin you around and show you this glorious place. Right, so this is my morning view. There he is, look. On his bro for a day. Oh, classic. Just can't beat waking up in in the woods. Whoa. Right, I'm gonna get up and have a bro. Right, so. Right, that's where the fire was last night. We disposed of the fire, doused it, buried it, got rid of this now. But we still haven't had breakfast yet, we're still chilling about, we just didn't need a fire again this morning. So, these are the setups from last night. Craig usual, 4x4 multi. TW3 layer on it. Uh, he's gone to the British Army Bergen now. Pulled up. There's man. And a change, still same colour, still coyote, but gone with a 4 before instead of the XL. Got this for a bargain from from Scotty. Um, tree straps down to the bay there, and then inside. The British Army jungle bag, British Army wool blanket, and British Army softies. Really nice night's sleep. So I've just got a brew on now. That's probably no way I can just hear that. So we have brew. The water filled it back in and put our breakfasts on. Right, bring you back for some food. Right, a couple of rat pack breakfasts in. Bro, steaming away up there, it's done. Look at that on the can. Untouched. Right, start getting some gear together. Well, whilst I'm waiting for these these dinners to these breakfasts to get going. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, before I fully wrap up, I thought I'd just take you through. Obviously, my my overnight setup. So there's a few bits here that I don't always bring. A few bits here that I just like to have just because it's nice to have some luxuries now and again and some bits to play with. So we'll start at this end. This is the British Army. This is a replica. This is the Webtex, not Webtex. This is the <laughs> Combat UK version of the British Army Bergen. 120 litre with the rocket pouches. And then I have Combat UK poncho as a bit of a ground sheet underneath me, my setup always. I have the British Army one, uh, I think it's a 1982 one, something like that. But it's just a bit heavier than this. And because I'm only ever using it as a ground sheet, I don't really see the need to, to bring it. So, right, so NZ, anyway, there's some Webtex Paracord, first aid kit, my hammock chair. My fold bag with my rat packs and stuff in. My fire tin. My Tranji, well, it's a Lixer there, but Tranji copy. Swedish mesh bottle. Two litres of water. Um, because we're into sort of summer camping now, so even though it was, it's not real, we're not really into summer properly yet, but we've got the British Army jungle bag. British Army softies, 
British Army wool blanket. There's my sleep system. Then down to some nice toys. I've got the mic break number one Cornish camping os. I'll just whip that out for you one minute. I didn't get to use it on this camp because because of the weather, you're not really out doing much, so we've got the three to one in the pins. Black Korean handles, white liners, O1 tall steel. Beautiful knife. Beautiful. Right, so there's that. Uh, Mr. Scotty, big boy. One of my own, I think I showed you this last night, but all bare bones, fire stale, and that knife, all one tall steel again. One of my first ones. TBS Grizzly. Big chap. Six mil. Uh, I think this is walnut, walnut scales, this one. Right, carry on. 12 centimetre billy can, camping co, shag mac, pair of gloves, at, uh, Ed Torch, DD 4x4, DD Frontline, um, that's got me bungees, pegs, things like that, some beer. Dig out trowel and something to wipe your wipe your ass with. And then this beautiful piece of kit, which I can't go on about enough. I go on and on and on and on. The silk cake, the the sheets attached to my bag, so I'm not didn't take that off. But yeah. So that's what I carry. Oh, in there. I've got my UCO lantern, catapult and some marbles. Didn't touch any of that last night, that bag could have stayed at home, but like I say, I just like to bring some stuff just. So the fire kit generally don't get used, but last night came right in, didn't it Craig? Last night was when you're glad you bring some it. So there we go, and that all goes into that. So I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll bring you back fully packed. Right, so there we go, all the gear that was down here is now Tucked away in my bag and Craig's all wrapped up. I think I showed you already. The fire area's all wrapped up. Now here, that one already here. Except a little less wood. But yeah, lovely spot. Luckily Craig informed me after we've already been here that it might be Addy. Add a season. So thanks for that Craig. But we had seen out. And even you were the odd mountain biker, but other than that, there's no. And mountain bikers, as we know, tunnel vision as they have to to be safe, keep looking forward. So, cracking spot, cracking location. Absolute loved it. Catch you on the next one. In fact, I'll take you on a little bit of the walk out to show you what I had to walk up. So, I'll bring you back in a bit.
That's his old Raptor. There's Craig. Thanks again, Craig. Spot on. No problem. Thanks for coming, mate. Another quality cam. Another quality cam. Uh, I don't think I'll be out now. Wow. Oh, I've got two weeks. Two weeks and I'll be back out, but we're on a bit of a walk in the Yorkshire, Yorkshire Three Peaks. Something like that. So, I meant to do it in 24 hours, but we'll be putting a wild camp in the middle of it. Uh, sorry, in 12 hours, but we'll be putting a wild camp in the middle of it. Because that's what we're about. So, right. If you got this far, appreciate it. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. All blue next time. No green, all blue. Loads of walking gear.